Hey guys, so we're going to go over how to take down and set up your desktop computer in case you have to work from home. So your setup might look a little differently than this, but you may have one or two monitors. Each of those monitors has two cables. This is a power cable here on the left. And so you're going to want to take the power cable out of the power strip or the wall, wherever it's plugged into. And then here is the display cable. This particular one is a VGA. Yours may look a little different, but we'll go over types of cables later. And so a little trick I like to use when moving stuff around is to keep the wires attached to the monitor. That way you don't have to kind of worry about where it's going once you get it to where it's going to be. You just keep it wrapped around there, wrap it around a few times, loop it around itself and then transport the monitors as is. That way there's less setup to do when you get it home or wherever it is you'll be working from. So we'll cart that monitor away. And then if you have two monitors or three, repeat the process with the other one. Power cable and whatever display cable it is. Just wrap it around a few times. This cable happens to be a little longer than the other one. So just wherever it ends, that's just where I'm looping it around itself. Just to keep it nice and tidy for wherever it's got to be in a car. And then cart it away. Keyboard and mouse, uh, you may have wireless ones, but if they're wired, same thing. Just unplug the USB from the back of your tower or dock or laptop, whatever you happen to be using. Similar trick can apply here, just wrap the cable around so that it's out of the way and not getting tangled around anything when you're traveling. Same thing with the mouse. You can skip these steps if you like, but they just tend to make things easier in my experience. And then once you've got everything else disconnected from the computer, you'll need to get your ethernet cable if you have one, if you're not working fully wirelessly. So there's that. Disconnect from the wall and from the back of the computer. Cables, just for quick transport, I like just folding them on each other end over end in halves. Once the ethernet cable's out of the way, power cable should be one of the only things left. So again, disconnect that from power strip or wall or wherever it's plugged into and then back of the computer as well. You could, if you wanted to, wrap the power cable around the computer like you did with the monitors, but either way works. And cart it away. Also, do not forget the uh, power strip. If you were using one in the office, you will probably need it at home. You may not have enough plugs in whatever room you'd be working from home. So grab that, same thing. Okay, now we're going to go over a quick inventory of what you should have. That is a power cable, keyboard, mouse, and ethernet cable. For monitors, power cable, that's a VGA cable, a D. EVI cable, that is HDMI, and that is DisplayPort. Those are a bunch of different types of display cables you could be looking at. And there's the four of them up close. And then we're going to go over the setup. So first step would be plug in the power strip that you took down earlier. So there's the power strip hooked in. Again, working from home, you don't always think about these things until it's too late. But if you got the power strip from the office, then you should have enough plugs for everything. Then we'll just kind of go in reverse order from before. So we're going to hook in the power cable to the back of the PC. Those power cables are pretty universal on desktop computers. So yours should look pretty similar. And then to the power strip or the wall, wherever it's plugged into. Ethernet cable. Back of the PC. So make sure it fits snugly in there. You should hear a little click. 
and then into the wall. You may not be going directly into the wall at home. You may have like a home router you're connecting it to, but wherever, wherever it needs to connect to, just make sure it's from the PC to that device or the wall plate. Then we'll get the keyboard and mouse. So if the wires were looped around in step one, just untangle them. <clears throat> and then we will plug them back into the PC. Those are USB ports. You may have some in front of the tower. You may have some in back. If you're using a laptop and a dock, they could be on the dock. They could be on the computer itself, wherever it makes sense for you. But USB, by design, is pretty universal. So wherever you find some USB ports, it should work. There you go. And then the last part will be getting the monitors hooked up. So if you had the wires wrapped around, like we showed in the beginning of the video, you just unravel them and then hook them back up. If you do not, if they're detached and separate, then you just need to hook them back up. So this is the power cable for the monitor. Looks exactly the same, typically, as the one that the computer uses. Again, they're pretty universal cables. So that power cable goes into the monitor. Again, depending on what types you have, that location will be a little different, but it should be somewhere in that area. And the plug, wherever it's going to go, likely a power strip or a wall plate. And then the display cables. This is a VGA in particular. You can see that monitor has multiple connections. It's got a VGA there on the right and a DVI on the left. Just different types of uh, display cables. They all work pretty much the same, but whatever types your monitor has, you should have a cable for it if you were taking, taking apart the setup at work. And then a VGA cable will go into the back of the computer. So there that is. You can see again, there's multiple hookups for different types back there. Your PC may look a little bit different than the one we're modeling on. And then moving it over. See, so yeah, if you only have one monitor, this may be where you stop, but if you have a uh, two, then you'd repeat the same process we just did for the second one. But here we're just squaring everything away in our quick little setup, making sure it looks as nice as it can. Here's going through the second monitor setup. Process is pretty similar to the first one. You'll have one power cable. We're speeding this up a little bit because we've probably gone through it. But you'll have one power cable and one display cable going into the monitor. So there it is. Hooking into the monitor. And then we're plugging it into the power strip. And there's the finished product.